Good morning. Today's scripture comes from Philippians 2, 1 through 11. Is there any encouragement from belonging to Christ? Any comfort from his love? Any fellowship together in the spirit? Are your hearts tender and compassionate? Then make me truly happy by agreeing wholeheartedly with each other, loving one another and working together with one mind and purpose. Don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Be humble, thinking of others as better than yourselves. Don't let out only. Don't look out only for your own interests, but take an interest in others too. You must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus did. Though he was God, he did not think of equally with God as something to cling to. Instead, he gave up his divine privileges. He took the humble position of a slave and was born as a human being. When he appeared in human form, he humbled himself in obedience to God and died a criminal's death on a cross. Therefore, God elevated him to a place of highest honor and gave him the name above all other names, that a name of Jesus every knee shall bow in, earth, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue declare that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Hello, Dunwoody family. Um, if you haven't had a chance to meet yet, my name is Brooke Freeman and I am the Associate Director of Youth Ministries at Dunwoody United Methodist Church. Um, I'm the youngest in my family and I have a, a brother who's four years older than me. And growing up naturally, um, he got to experience a lot of things before me. He got a cell phone before me. He started high school before me. And the big kicker was that he, uh, he got to drive before me. And when he was 17 and able to drive and all he wanted to do was hang out with his friends, I was that annoying 13-year-old sister that just wanted to tag along with her cool older brother. And the truth, he didn't have to drive me around or to bring me along. Um, but he might tell you that our parents um, told him otherwise, but that's uh, beside the point. He chose to drive us to church on Sunday mornings and we'd sometimes swing by McDonald's to grab sausage biscuits. And at 17 years old, he could have definitely decided that I'm just gonna drive around in my 98 Jeep with only my friends. But he didn't think of himself. He thought of me, he thought of his, our parents. And almost 15 years later, I'm extremely grateful for the decision my brother made to humble himself and to let his little sister tag along. It was truly made, this truly made an impact on our relationship. Although Paul isn't writing to the people of Philippi about driving around siblings or even the teenage years, he's speaking to a great diversity of people from a variety of different backgrounds. And members of this uh, community and unity uh, must have been probably something that was very difficult for them to maintain. And Paul encourages them and also encourages us to be cautious of any selfishness or judgment or uh, jealousy um, that could lead to some sort of conflict. Paul was writing to strengthen these believers by showing them that true joy, humility, and unity comes from Jesus Christ alone. Paul is telling them that selfishness can ruin a church, but genuine humility can build it up. Being humble involves having a true perspective about ourselves. It doesn't mean that we should put ourselves down or even think less of ourselves. We are all sinners saved by God's grace, but we are saved and therefore have great worth in God's kingdom. We're to lay aside those selfishness and, um, and treat others with respect and common courtesy. Considering others' interest as more important than our own links us with Christ who is the true example of humility. As we anticipate the end of this week, we know how the story ends. We know that Christ Jesus had equal status with God, but didn't think so much of himself that he had to cling to those advantages or to that status no matter what. And as we prepare for Easter Sunday, we will journey through praise with joy on our lips we will travel through betrayal and death, cradling hope deep in our hearts. Jesus leads us through this week, 
We will follow, for he is the life that we long for. He is the word who sustains us, and we humble ourselves in anticipation. We open our hearts to Christ's love, being of one mind and one spirit. Setting aside all power and glory and might, Jesus came modeling humility and obedience for all of us. Blessed is the one who brings us the kingdom of God. Let's pray. Almighty God, we pray that we may lay aside our self-interest. Be willing to serve, be gentle in spirit and humble of heart. Help us to carry out all that you have entrusted in us, not because we have to, but because it is the desire of our hearts to love and to serve with all of our being. Amen.